Hi guys, Andy here, and welcome to A Calm Night. It's another A2, O2, A2 game jam game. Um, yeah, <laughs> I really don't have much to say. I hope everyone's doing well. Um, let's get started, shall we? Our special meeting place. The large clearing at the heart of the dense forest. Will you be there tonight? You're here. I apologize. I was late today. Just a little bit. It's fine. What do you have planned for us? That sounds great. We sat down as Yumi brought out an assortment of berries, steamed fish, and something wrapped in bamboo leaves. What's that? This? Um, it's a dessert you tried to make. You tried to make a dessert? Yumi, the last time you made a dessert, you left tea leaves in the jelly. Ah, uh, ooh. Oh, hmm. Let's go with the fish. I know that you always cook your fish perfectly because it's your favorite. You'd be upset if you messed it up. You know me too well. Aww. Yumi sat down beside me and munched on the remaining food. How have you been? I've been okay. The others haven't seen you in a while, you know? I don't know. Everyone has been busy since they last saw you. Uh, it's worth it if I get to spend time with you all. Oh, we'll go with that one. He does, but it doesn't matter. I'd rather be here with you. Uh, always wish we had more time. We should appreciate the time we have. We'll never have enough time. Um, I go. We should appreciate the time we have now. The moon hangs high over us. I know the time is soon. Does it have to end? I suppose so. I watched as she packed up at what was left of our picnic. Yumi gives me her usual smile as we lock eyes. She gives me a gentle wave. Good night, Yumi. Good night, Sal. It's just as it was before. I come here every day thinking I can change what has already been done. I'm sorry. I failed you once again. Ending to Wilted in Time. Aw. Okay, now I'm determined. This is a, this can't be a five minute video again. <laughs> so, uh, we'll start that over again. We'll give me just a second. Um, so I think this time we'll go with, uh, taking her special dessert.
You wouldn't bring it if you knew I wouldn't even try it. I unwrap the leaves to see ca soft cat shaped mochi. Ooh, I love mochi. I took a piece and bit into it. So, it? It's really good, actually. Is... Yumi sat down beside me and munched on the remaining food. How have you been? Okay, so we're gonna skip this again. Uh oh. I'd say let's go for the same option as the first time, but yeah, we'll just deal with that. I always wish she had more time. You know, I feel like that's an appropriate answer. Yumi lays down on the grass, smiling up at the sky. I hesitantly lie down beside her. I would love that. The moon hangs high over us. I know the time is soon. Does it have to end? I suppose so. I watched as she packed out what was left of our picnic. Aw, oh, come on. Wait, Yumi. I'm sorry. Every day I come here wishing things were different. I wind back time, but even with endless tries, I still lack the courage. I was cowardly. I couldn't even save you. Why did I know this was going to be sad? And I should have been there to protect you. I let you down. I can't let go. I miss you. It's been so difficult. I think about our last meeting every day and how I never got to say everything I wanted to. Yes, I promise. Okay. I look at her one last time, knowing that it will be a long time until I see her. I reach out my hand to her fading figure. Good night, Yumi. I love you. Ending three, a love like evergreen. Oh, that's so sweet. 
So I'm assuming there is a, a, a one ending, and I, I think I've suffered enough for this. <laughs> uh, but yeah, this is a calm night. I'll let you figure out the thir the first ending for yourself. Um, but yeah, I hope everyone's doing well. Um, I don't know what I have planned for this week, or next week, rather. Um, it's been a little bit too hot to record. Uh, I turned off my fan, and it's only been 10 minutes, and I'm already dying. Because it's like 80 degrees in the house, and that's without the laptop running. Um, but yeah, thank you all so much for watching. Um, bye for now.